I'm Dr. Frank Wildman, the creator of Change Your Age. And I'm here to talk about and give you some tips on how to make yourself move more youthfully. Now, there are several visible signs of aging. Things that are revealed about our age in the way that we move, in our posture, in our balance, in many things. So today I'd like to give you a tip on youthifying your movements. And you'll feel younger and maybe you'll be younger functionally after you follow this tip. So a lot of signs of aging appear in our walk. People walk more slowly as they age. And as they slow down, they might find, in fact, they don't have quite enough time to cross the street like they did. They're not sure how much room there is for themselves in a crowd of fast-moving people. They're not sure they can keep up with the crowd. So all of these things can change and make you feel much more confident when they do. So here's the tip. Pick a distance of about 100 yards. Yeah, a couple of driveways, yeah? Down the block and across the street. Walk as fast as you can for just that 100 yards, no more. And here's how to do it. There's a way to get started. You start by lighting your arms up parallel with the ground and pumping your arms forwards and backwards and letting your shoulders move. You see how my shoulders move as my arms move? And as that happens, that's going to make your pelvis move. And you'll find your legs and your arms will move faster because your arms are pumping your legs. As you do that, walk as fast as you can, again, for just 100 yards, and then stop and walk at whatever speed you want. The next day, pick 200 yards and do the same thing. Pump with your arms and go for 200 yards as fast as you can. The next day, add another 100 yards. And the next day, another. And you'll find in about a week, you'll be walking quite a distance at a high speed. And when you, ha when you do that, you'll feel younger, you'll feel more coordinated, you'll feel that your posture has changed, because your posture will conform and contour to your movements. So you'll, in a sense, have changed a visible sign of aging. And you'll feel more confident in many situations. It's good for your body, and it's also, as some articles have come out recently, including the New York Times, it's not just good for your body, but it's good for your brain to walk faster. When people walk slower, they suffer from several illnesses and even have more dementia than people who learn to walk faster. So it's good for you to walk faster. Have a good walk. Next time, I'll give you a tip on something that will also improve your confidence and ease in life, and that will be on balance. So see you then. Remember, small increments, 100 yards a day. Bye-bye.